any business and the beauty brand is no different so today we are going to look at designing e-flyers for your beauty brand business the size that we're going to use is going to be our typical instagram post size as usual we're going to type into canva instagram post and we will select the one first one that pops up you can either choose to start from a template or a blank template for today we're going to start with a blank template as we have an idea as to what it is that we are going to do today while that's loading One of the most important reasons why persons use e-flyers is to promote their business. While word of mouth is good, it's really nice that somebody has something in their hand that they can look at, that they can put down, that they can keep for memories to remember what it is that your business does, or if you have a sale, or if you are just trying to get the word out about your brand, this is one of the perfect things that you can use. So we're going to get right into it. First thing that we're going to do is that we are going to change the color of our background and we're doing this in the order as to where, how it's easier it might be. So once you change the background color, we are going to go into the process of start adding in our layers. And the first layer that I want to add here is going to be my image of the person that I use as my brand ambassador. Again, as usual, every single thing that we use for our documents, we bring them over before we decide to start working. There we go. So we bring in our model. Once we've done that, we're going to enlarge if necessary or shrink if necessary and then we are going to position where we need her to be and then lock her down then we're going to add our glitz and glam it's a beauty brand i don't think that a beauty brand is a beauty brand without any little glitter inside so let's add some glitter as we always do as we are still trying to keep up with the cohesion or the cohesiveness of our brand i remember that an important aspect of a brand is being cohesive then we are going to go in and we are going to add, we're going to add a square at the bottom there so that we would have a little section there to add some information. It's also important that when you are doing this, that you outline either in your head or on a piece of paper as to what it is that you are going to do before you actually start doing it. We are going to find our color, which again for my brand is a nice to fuchsia pink or whichever color you want to call it. And we're going to work with that one right there. And then let's just go ahead and add the text as to what we're going to put down at that section there. And for a section like that, we would love to put the website. So we're going to say www.yourwebsite.com. And then we are going to resize as always. Let's work with 32 as that always works for us. And then we are going to place it where we would like it to be and that section is finished the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add an extra line layer of gold let's fix this right here we're going to add an extra layer of gold glitz on the bottom to match with the brand cohesion at the top and we're going to go into our uploads folder we're going to find that image that we need we're going to resize And then we are going to position it where we need it to be. Let's send that backward. There we go. There we go. And there's another section. Now we're just getting into designing our flyer. Well, the next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to add the title of what our flyer is all about 
right? So we're going to duplicate our text document here. And we are going to write what it is about. So for this, it is a price list. And we are going to resize that to a size that we are comfortable and okay with. Um, there we go. And then we're going to find the perfect font to use. Uh, a font that I really love is Anton. You can either search in the search section or if you've used it before, it will come up into your recently used. And that's being loaded here. Again, we erase size as each font has a different visual. There you go. I'm going to duplicate our font again. Again, as I've always stated, duplication in Canva is going to be your best friend. I'm going to put Elite Boss. I'm going to resize. And I've already thought in my head the font that I want to use for this. And it's a font that I you can download from the font.com for free. And it's Signity. There we go. And I may have typed all this in capital letters, so we are going to fix that here. So let's fix this error that we made before. E, okay, well, A T boss. There we go. And we're going to adjust as we go along. And we're going to change the color so that it can be much more visible to us. And we are going to adjust as we go along as it makes the process so much easier for us. All right, so we're going to zoom in a bit, probably about 50% that we can see. There we go. And then the next thing that we are going to move on to is actually designing the body of the flyer. Now, what I had in mind was a simple price list flyer. And we're going to go in our element section here and we are going to add a square. And we're going to add about two of these here. But here's a trick. So we're going to add one first. Let's change the color to about pink. Then we're going to go in and we're going to get this little baby right here. Or glitz and glam. And we are going to adjust it. So that it fits perfectly behind or previous square and gives us a little bit of glam on the side and we are going to adjust as we go along as always to ensure that we have a little bit of equal space there we go there we go can probably pull this up a little bit more and I'm okay with that. Then we're going to highlight this. We're going to group it and we are going to duplicate and bring it over. And there we go. Now we have two aspects to hold the stuff. All right. So we're going to put some information into that. But then we're going to do this once more. So we are going to duplicate the above once more. And we're going to adjust what it is that we just did. We're going to ungroup because we want a smaller size. And then we are going to make it smaller so that it fits in the little space that we have that's left. And we are going to adjust these things as we go along. But what we're trying to do here is that we are trying to lay the groundwork so that you don't have to be doing stuff 
over and over again you can duplicate you can lay out your plans and then go ahead and adjust by adding your information once you are done all right i'm in love with that so we're going to group that and then we are going to duplicate and shift over once more now once you've laid out all of this you realize that you need a little bit more space then we'll unlock this layer and we'll shift her over just a little bit more so that we'll have some white or blank space there to help with the cleanness of the flyer all right and then we are going to highlight all of these and we are going to adjust. Now let's add in the text, all right? So with everything that you do, you have to ensure that brand cohesion is there. So the font that we're going to use throughout this flyer is going to be Anton, because that's what we started with, all right? So whatever you start with, that's what we're ending with. Um, always ensure that you only have two one to two fonts using throughout as if you have more than that your flyer will become crowded or it will look like a whole hot mess and be all over the place let's make that 335 and we're getting somewhere aren't we so the next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to label all of these things so let's make this a three bundle deal and let's make it a little bit smaller and then we're going to find our font and we are going to add it above here and looking at that that looks a little bit small so let's make it bigger if that happens, don't be afraid to resize and adjust as you go along to ensure that everything is in perfect order as to the way you like it. We're going to make this one a four bundle deal. All right, we're going. We're getting somewhere. Now, I noticed that with this section here, I don't have enough space to put the name above. So we're going to adjust and resize so that we'll have enough space to add what we want to add at the top then we are going to duplicate this here and we're gonna say singles all right let's just fix that right here so let's say singles and uh, over on the other section we are going to have let's say frontals if you notice that each time you move something that pink line comes it it helps you to adjust your stuff to ensure that everything is in order everything is cohesive everything is lined up properly and you have a clean and cohesive flyer for your brand all right so we have just one more thing to do in order for us to complete this flyer and that is to add in the figures here all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some text. We're going to make the size small enough as we can adjust that later. And then we're going to start typing in what we have. So let's say 12 inch is going to be for, let's say $65. And let's add $10 each time we go along. I hope I can check. All right, so if that one is 65, then this is going to be 75. Then our 16 inch is going to be 85. And our 18 inch is going to be 95. And our 20 inch is going to be 105. And then now that we have all of this, we are going to adjust the size and change our font to match with our brand. 
and let's say about 18 maybe about that's still too small so let's go to about 28 and I think 28 will work just fine so let's go with I'm not sure as to why I'm having so much trouble right now. But we're going to fix that, don't worry. So if you wanted 28. And let's adjust the figures. So let's give each of them about three to four spaces. Let's see how best that looks for us. Let's adjust the width of this thing here so you can see what we're working with. And then we're going to adjust the earth in the center here so that it fits. And then just to save time, we are going to duplicate and bring this over. And you are going to, you can autofill that section there with your information. So we're going to zoom out, zoom out to see what we have in so far. What we have so far is this. I'm still not pleased as to what it is that we have. I think something is missing in the background. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back into my upload folder. I'm going to find my trusty background that I use in most, if not all, of the videos in this series. Again, as we're trying to keep the cohesiveness of our brand and then we are going to adjust and add that to the back and we're going to see the difference that we have All right now All right, so we're going to adjust the opacity just a bit and then we are going to position it at the back and there we have it we have a beautiful e-flyer all designed in Canva that you can use for business promotion. This can either be printed or used digitally and you will be able to do this by yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys.